Hi guys, another little tear down. This one is the Babyliss. Uh, got any more information on it? Obviously, it's a hair dryer. It's the last one in the little series of items my daughter gave me to take apart because she knows I like to do that. Uh, I don't know if the lighting will be right. Babyliss Type S43 Reference 1013HS 230 volts, 50 hertz, 1400 watts. Made in PRC, People's Republic of China. I don't know if we can see that or not. Anyway, it's another one of those ones that has the fancy screws. These um, forked ones, I suppose. I just happen to have a nice set of bits here. It's always nice when you do have the right tools for a job. Makes life a lot easier. Right. Okay. Now remember, I'm not trying to repair this. I'm taking it apart so I can see what's inside. So when you hear it crack and break, that's because I don't actually mind whether it breaks or not. Doesn't appear to be any more screws. Oh yeah, there is. Is there? No, that one's free. Wedge under it. Don't want to come apart there. Anything hidden under the label? Nope. What does that bit do? This is going to be the, uh, yeah, clearly there's something I haven't found that should undo it easily, but I don't know what it is. Got there in the end. Well, I've got to say I'm disappointed already. That's another AC motor in there. I was rather hoping we might find a DC one in this one.
Just in case you're wondering, charity shops, a lot of them don't like electrical goods because they have to do proper safety checks on them and that adds to the cost which makes them uneconomic for them to try and resell. So, what have we got in here? Plastic casing, there's some insulation in there which doesn't want to come out not easily. It's the light coloured tube on the inside. The wire will be nichrome, I would expect, which I have used in the past. I've straightened it out, stretched it out, and used it for cutting foam. Hot wire cutter for the foam. There's a thermal cutout in there. I've got some nice switches there, I suppose. They might be worth saving. And then, as I say, we've got an AC motor. Which I don't have a lot of use for, to be honest. So that's the inside of your babyless hairdryer. For me, nothing very exciting. I should think the only interesting thing was how it came apart. And there's little indentations there that were gripping the inside of there. I might save those switches, but the rest of it I'm not really interested in. Oh, I'll save the plug as well. Well, I just had second thoughts about getting rid of it. So I put it back together. Because I didn't cut anything or break anything as I took it apart. I did rather abuse the casing there. So it's not the ideal thing to give to anybody if they want it, but I might be able to use it for things like hot air balloons and that sort of thing where I want to give them a blast of hot air. Quite like the fact it's got a cold feature. Might even be handy for cooling down hot glue. So I won't throw this one away. I should keep it. Well, I was just going to pack this hair dryer away, and I've noticed the insulation, the outer insulation, is cracked in a few places. So. Um, I really need to replace that cable if I'm going to keep it. There's the other bit. Yeah, there's the other bit. I don't know if it's visible. So, not quite sure what's been going on there. Whether it's just that sort of cable or insulation that's liable to cracking when it gets a bit old. But that's a bit disappointing, that is. So I might throw it out anyway. That's annoying because we've just been to the recycling centre to get rid of all the rest of it. All the other ones that I've taken apart. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee 
you can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.